Hi Paper Crafters, welcome to Couture Creations Product Spotlight, where we take our products, show you how to use them, and give you great tips and techniques so that you can get the most out of them and have fun along the way. Now today we're looking at the Go Cut and Emboss machine. This is an absolutely fabulous machine. It has all metal gears. It has manual operation so you can do quite precise cards and projects. It has a really stable base so it's really secure to operate. It's really portable and compact and it comes with a three-year Australian guarantee. So we really do stand by the quality of this product and personally I love it. It's my go-to machine for die cutting and embossing and a few other things too. I love the fact that this machine comes with an instruction book and the instruction book is really well laid out and it takes you step by step through each of the different things that you can be doing with this machine. How cool is that? I hate having to go online for my instructions. I love the fact that it comes with the plates that you actually need to do this, including the metal shim, so that's great. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to look at embossing, so how we use this machine to emboss. So, we need the following plates. We need the base plate, A, and I'm going to pop that down in my machine. We need to have two B plates. These are the B plates, so we need two of these. So I'm going to put one of them down, and then I'm going to take an embossing folder. So this is the chain link folder from Couture Creations. And I'm going to open that up and put some card in between the two layers. Once I've done that, I'm going to sit this on top of that last B plate that I put on here. And then my final part of my sandwich is the final B plate. And that sits on top. So just to recap, I have got the A base plate. I have a B plate. I have my folder with the card inside and I finally have a B plate. Once I have that sandwich together, all I need to do is to roll this through my machine. And as you can see, I have a beautifully embossed folder ready for me to use on my project. Now sometimes you'll come across a folder that's slightly wider than the norm, like this 3D um, embossing folder from Couture Creations. So what you need to do is you simply change your sandwich stack. So what I mean is for this one, I'm going to use my A plate. I'm going to pop a little bit of card in here. And then I'm going to pop that on my A plate, so no B plates here. And I'm going to take my C plate and I'm just popping that down. And you might notice how I'm kind of staggering. Staggering really helps things move through nicely. So all I have to do is to whisk that through and embox this. So there you go, that's my beautiful 3D image. So basically, um, just play with your sandwich, play with your stacks. If something's not going through, um, you might need to maybe substitute a um, plate for a metal shim. Sometimes if the impression's not deep enough, you might need to put a piece of card in there just to lift it a little bit against the rollers. So now it's time for you to take your beautifully embossed folders and start to play and create. So that's the embossing with the Go Cut and Emboss Machine. Have fun. 